four sentenced to death for murder of Bangladeshi secularist blogger. On March 30th, a Bangladesh court sentenced four men to death for the brutal killing of secular blogger Anata Bijoy Das in 2015. Anata was a, a contributor to Mukto Mona, a Bengali blog for secularists, atheists, and freethinkers. Along with Anata, two other Bangladeshi secular bloggers were killed in 2015. Judge uh, Nurul Amin uh, B. Plab, in his verdict, said, quote, if these accused are not given exemplary punishment, people of other terrorist, uh, violent, radical extremists, um, extremist ideologies will be encouraged to commit such killings, adding, quote, the main purpose behind these killings was to spread fear and apprehension among writers who wrote or spoke about liberalism, progressivism, science, and prejudice prevalent in the society through the brutality and horror of the killing. Bangladesh, a predominantly Muslim country, is a distressing place for advocates of human rights and freedom of speech. Das's brother-in-law, who was present at the verdict, called for the arrest of the remaining suspects who are still at large. Um, I think I'm going to have an unpopular view here. I'm against the death penalty, even when it comes to people like this. Um, yeah, I, I am. I mean, I don't, I'm not, uh, I'm not saying it based on principle. Um, so far, all the data that we have suggests that, uh, the harm from the death penalty outweighs the benefits from it. It doesn't have the, um, it doesn't have the effects like from what is it called uh, deterrence effects that people think it has like okay so even if this if the studies shows that the deterrence effects of the death penalty doesn't work in countries like united states imagine how little uh, how less of an effect it has um in countries where martyrdom for the sake of islam is is considered is seen as a value right um yeah, I don't, I don't know. I, I think it would like, and also, in general, the the cost, and, and in general, I don't want any government to have the authority to just take life, uh, unless it's um, for self defense, you know, unless it's in in protection of other people's lives or something like that, like in in, in a conflict, like in a defensive war or something like that. Like, I don't think like that right should be given to a government. I think the consequences of that is higher than the benefits so even though you know it seemed like based on the side that we are on we're like this was a secular blogger uh, somebody that we 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 want to defend and we you know and we are so aggressively against all the people who have been sentenced here i still don't want to defend the death penalty uh even for people like that what do you think susan no, I completely agree. I wanted to read a quote from Al Jazeera. So Sweden-based exiled Bangladeshi journalist Tasnim Khalil condemned the capital punishment given to Das's killers. Quote, it can never be a tool for ensuring justice. It, this horrible medieval practice has no place in a modern civilized society, he told Al Jazeera. However, Khalil added that by slaughtering Das and other Bangladeshi rationalists, the killers, quote, have successfully ensured that religious issues are now a taboo topic in the country. Very few, if any, dare to speak up on religion these days, lest they are too, lest they too are killed while the government watches from the sideline. And I think that's really something that's very important to highlight is that this spate of violence that happened in 2015 and a little bit in 2016 against secularists and LGBT rights activists in particular, many of these um, killings were associated with ISIS or by Al Qaeda, um, has really set Bangladesh just like the the chilling effect that it has had on the Bangladeshi society cannot be understated. Um, it's so dangerous for people, and it has really stifled and stunted people's efforts to just push for like basic, very small bits of progressivism within their society. Um, so it had you know just. The precedent that this set, I, I don't think it, we can really even articulate the effect that this had on Bangladesh, like these brutal killings. There were so many during 2015. Um, and on one hand, people 
you know, are like, oh, wow, look at the government is actually taking a stand against this. But then on, you know, the other hand, people are like, we actually don't support the death penalty under any conditions. And I don't think this actually is justice. And many of these people are still fugitives of the law. So how effective is this really? It's it's a really, really difficult contention. And I completely agree with everything you said about the death penalty, Armin. Okay, really quickly, Ibn Qayyam is saying the focus should be on rehabilitation, and OD was also agreeing with me. I, sh I should have read that. Uh, Bobo is saying, I agree with you, Armin, the death penalty is barbaric. Um, and also, Eric disagrees. Uh, Eric is saying, uh, my views on the death penalty are slowly changing. I prefer that the death penalty be implemented in certain cases. It's essential. Well, Eric, you shouldn't base this on your feeling. The data is against you. You know, like you shouldn't be like, oh, I feel these people deserve it. Um, your goal should not be revenge or satisfying your desire of seeing people punished. Your goal should be based on what prevents the most, what it, what strategy prevents the most amount, of, uh, prevents harm the most um, in society and reduces the crime the most. And for you to come up with a conclusion, you should rely on data um, rather than whatever you're feeling. I'm not, yeah. Um, maybe you have data, but I'm just saying, okay? Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below. Thank you.